Welcome to Asia Report, coming to you from the Social Media World Forum in Singapore. I'm here with the Managing Director Asia of NetBiscuits, York Kranitz, who's going to be talking about how we make mobile internet better. Um, York, welcome to Telecom TV. Morning, Nick. Um, how do we make mobile internet better? Well, first of all, you have to understand the challenges of the mobile internet versus what we call the PC internet. And um, one of those challenges, of course, that there are many, many different parameters uh, that affect uh, the content uh, on the mobile internet as opposed to the PC internet. So, of course, there are many, many more operating systems. There are many more uh, screen sizes. Everybody has a different handphone. So, um, to understand what you want to put on the mobile website, you have to see what makes a good user experience. And um, you can only do that if you realize that it's really, really a lot more difficult to put content well uh, onto the mobile internet. Ian Stewart, uh, the uh, head of Friendster in Asia. Welcome to Telecom TV. Thank you very much. Um, you were talking there about the future of social networking. What's the future of social networking and mobile devices? In my presentation I was talking about the fact that there are you know, two-thirds of the online population are on social media sites, but only 16% of Asia is actually online, so you know, there's, there's a big growth factor in terms of online and, and laptops and, and PC access. But you look at some of the other research and it says that 80% of Asian youth have got a phone. So 80% of Asian youth with a phone, 16% of Asian youth with access to online, obviously mobile is, is the way forward. How are you developing new business models with telecommunications companies or service providers? One of the things that we're doing at the moment with some degree of success is, is buying data plans from some of the bigger operators in the region and then offering to our users their own all day um, basic, very, very cheap access to, to Friendster. So for a couple of pesos a day in, in the Philippines, they can surf for as much as they want because we've already pre-bought the data. I'm here with Ian McKee, the CEO of Volcanic, which does word of mouth and social media marketing, primarily for the telecommunications industry. Um, Ian, welcome to Telecom TV. Hi. Um, firstly, what's the difference between word of mouth and social, social media marketing? Well, the way we approach it is that it all comes back to a simple truth. There is nothing better for your brand than a personal recommendation from one friend to another. When that recommendation is communicated face to face, it gets called word of mouth. When it gets written down on a blog or a Facebook or on Twitter, it gets called social media. So they are really, uh, as marketing campaigns, a single integrated process. It's just a question of how it gets expressed. How, how can you use word of mouth and um, social media for the telecommunications industry and, the, and service providers in particular? Well, we find that tel uh, the service providers have uh, uh, a wide range of products, or a wide range of messages that they want to reach out to their customers. And often the customers they want to reach are youth skewed. And when you have complex propositions, complex solutions to explain, then sometimes the traditional ATL techniques uh, become uh, expensive uh, or cost ineffective. And that's where the personal recommendation from one friend to another becomes very powerful to support the ATL uh, uh, marketing campaigns. Ian, thanks very much for being on Telecom TV. My pleasure. Thank you. This is Simon Carney reporting from Singapore for Telecom TV.